we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi Aquarius, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. All right, thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so I got like a clown face. I don't know if you feel like someone treated you like a clown or they act like a clown or you feel like a clown for even entertaining something. I don't know. Let's see what's going on here for the Aquarius. Where is Aquarius right now? Where is Aquarius? Okay. Um, toil and labor. So something is hard work or you felt like, okay, I'm the only one putting in a lot of work or I'm working over time or... Um, I just need to continue to do this and then it'll it'll pan out for me toil and labor in terms of a relationship you feel like the relationship is hard work you know it's just like it's just not easy it's an uphill battle maybe the, the person puts all the energy uh, of keeping the relationship together on you let's see what's going on what is happening for Aquarius main female so you feel like um you but it's number two though maybe you feel like you're number two in somebody's life or um you're the number two woman or something like that or maybe you feel like you haven't gotten a title from someone you could be single you could feel like maybe being single is hard or dating is hard or you don't know who to give your love to because she has this rose this red rose rose you don't know who to give your devotion your passion to at, at this time you feel like everybody is just out for um a passionate connection also so that could be you as a feminine energy it could be even you as a male um you could feel like you, if you um, are dealing with a woman, um, it's hard work in dealing with her. Or this person, you know, put you under some type of toil and labor. Like you, you've got to strive to give to this person. Or, you know, this person's got you working hard to get out of something. Um, this might not even be your woman. Um, you feel like what you manifested was with this person or with this woman was... Um, like hardship where this person took you to hardship maybe like spends all your money or um could be emotionally unstable so they make the relationship hard or it could be both all right so that's where you are right now aquarius and in aquarius woman you can feel like somebody makes the relationship unstable because they're unstable um it's like you know a decision has to be made or you gotta you know sever ties or you have to do something let's see what's going on here where is Aquarius right now? The lovers, yeah. So some of you are like in some third party situation where you know that you are the second choice or you're the or there's another choice. You could be first, they could be second, I don't know. You know that there's somebody else, okay? Or that somebody's just after you for sex. Again, she's holding that red rose. So it's like maybe you feel like somebody just wants a passionate connection with you. Um it's all they want. They just want passion. Um with the lovers here. You feel like you know, it, maybe it's becoming unhealthy for you. You want more or somebody wants more. Um, Aquarius, you could feel like you 
some woman could feel like you've strung them along in terms of passion and they want more. Let's see, where, last card for where Aquarius is right now. Yeah, false person. So maybe somebody feels like um, they got engaged or they in, into this relationship under false pretense. Like, um, and now it, it, it's hard work. Um, so like, this is like a setup too. It's like there was like, maybe this woman had more than one lover, okay? And um, she did something like a scheme or a scam. We got a lot of women coming up here. Um, and now it's hard for somebody to get out of this or, or vice versa. You could be a woman and you feel like you've engaged in some type of situationship, relationship with somebody who already had another person. And now it's like toil and toil and labor, hard work to get out of it. And this person came to you under false pretense. Um, maybe they were acting like they were single and they weren't. They were acting like they wanted a relationship and they didn't. It's an eight card. Eights talk about sex, um, intimacy okay and mystery so um this could even be mystery around somebody's finances so somebody could have schemed to get somebody's finances also okay got somebody under a contract here with the lovers um to get their finances and this is what somebody was trying to do with you aquarius or vice versa this is what you're doing this is what someone is thinks you're doing to them okay so um we got all of that going on there. Yep, courtship at the bottom of the deck. So this is some type of relationship. Maybe somebody was courting you under, you know, false pretense. Like, yeah, 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 we're going to be together. We're going to do this. But they really just wanted you for sex or your money. They had somebody else. Um, they put all of the, the weight on you in the relationship. And they didn't give you the title. Okay. Um and that could be, you know, one story for somebody, you know, it's going to resonate how it resonates. Let's see. Um, let's go here. Um, what the Tarot has to say. All right, let's see. What is the advice for Aquarius? What's going on here? Okay. The five of wands. So it's like you, you got to fight for what you want. Um, or this is what you're doing or... Somebody likes to have a lot of attention around them or this was some love affair where there were other parties involved. It wasn't just you with the five of wands here. And somebody lo loves the attention of maybe, you know, having all these different men or these different women, you know, after them um, with the five of wands. They love the playful banter, the flirting, the going back and forth, the, the friskiness of, you know, maybe um the sexting or whatever you know they just love the whole that whole thing you know i see yeah the two of wands okay um somebody was somebody knew what they wanted and they kind of like schemed on you because it turns out the seven of wands here somebody had like a plan of how to get control or get in control of you or the relationship or the marriage the two of wands here it says that maybe this was like a cheating scenario. Somebody had like, um, like the good girl or the good guy at home. And then they had this spontaneous wild, you know, thugged out or like, um, wild child, um, loose woman, whatever. I don't know. Outside of the connection. Um, but it's, it seemed like somebody was scheming though. Like, it was just for sex, though. They were just having sex with somebody or just fun. But then it, it turned to where there was like, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. This was like long term or somebody was already had a family um, or like some, yeah, somebody already had a family. Somebody was already committed, devoted to the family dynamic. They were never leaving their wife or their husband. But then... Um, something happened in between here is what I'm feeling because with the two of wands we got domination so one one of the choices dominated the other spontaneous knee jerk I don't know what happened here we'll figure out what happened in the two of wands so I don't know if you know the spouse or the boyfriend girlfriend found out about the other party and then it was like kind of like all hell broke loose or there was STD, there was pregnancy, there was something where it was like, boom, you know, like all of a sudden, I don't know. Yet somebody got into something that they couldn't 
get out of like quickly because the two of ones talks about the decisions that we make that could lead us down a karmic path so somebody chose to have somebody else while they were already in a relationship and then boom it was like some type of karma but somebody who's already committed devoted ten of pentacles they were never leaving the comfortability of you know financial stability they were more so married to the legacy the money there could have even been that somebody was scheming to take your inheritance, take your money. Um, this is more than one party. Like this was like getting together and scheming in regards to um, maybe money. Yep, money with the eight showing up here um, from from this woman, like holding something back. Or this woman was scheming to get money from. I don't know. You got to get in where you fit in. Holding some money back from this main female caused for somebody's life to be kind of hard or hard work. Or they, you know, they had to hop on the struggle bus when they could have just had the Ten of Pentacles their entire life. There was some relationship that somebody got in that put them on the struggle bus or or, or will because it's like hard work now to get out of it or to untangle, un unravel yourself with the false person showing up. And this was all because somebody was scheming like, oh, he's he's has money or he has opportunity. So I'm going to fill in the blank. And then this was like, Someone, someone saying, well, you know, I have the power, power of attorney, okay, uh, authority, so I'm going to keep this money away from this main woman, so however it fits, I don't know, let me know in the comments, like, somebody tried to keep something from you, or somebody was scheming on you, oh, can't make it up, okay, so bottom of the deck, the seven of swords, so it's like, it got another woman coming out. Definitely women or a woman like doing a lot of like um, trying so hard to go undetected. Like I hope they don't detect what I'm doing. Um, so, but this was a scheme. It says scheming, deception, trickery, mastery, um, really wanting to go it alone. This is this is masquerading to acting masquerade. They're the masquerade ball. She's got her. They, she's got her costume and he's got his. So somebody masquerading um, around you or in a relationship with you. Like they really want the relationship, but they really were after the eight, the money. They may have even married you or wanted to marry you. This is a marriage or a relationship with the seven here. Seven of swords coming out. I want this to focus. See if we can get some focus going on. I know. This ain't the time, right? Like, keep going with the story. No. All right. So, it's not going to focus. Not right now, right? Anyhow, this is the Seven of Swords. Um, this could be somebody wanted to live in, like, the lap of luxury. Like, she's sitting before her mirror. She's got all her mirrors. And this is somebody even doing mirror magic. Somebody didn't want you to see what they were doing. With all these mirrors coming out. Yeah, six of wands, you could have married this person or chosen this person. So maybe there was another choice. And you, somebody did something so you could choose them. Um, somebody like was doing something so you could put all your attention, all your energy on them with the seven of swords and the six of wands. So it's like, I'm going to trick, master, somebody's thoughts say things to manipulate their emotions six of wands so that they can choose me so that they can always have their attention set on me um i don't know this is okay what's the advice the king of pentacles yes so somebody thought that somebody was you saw money dollar signs with either you aquarius or vice versa someone feels like and there could be somebody who's married here. Someone feels like some, you're trying to attach yourself to me because I have money. But somebody's, somebody's extremely 
committed to what they've already um, established, like family dynamic that they've already established or whatever. They're not leaving that with the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, right? And then the Knight of Wands here is like, whomever this is, they're just, oh, this is another person. So somebody looked at somebody as, okay, this is my person, the King of Pentacles, and this is my side person. This was somebody who was like, this could have been an ex that somebody was dealing with. They were in and out, off and on, hot and cold. This is where they went to have fun, have sex, or have whatever type of relations. But then they, all, but they, but somebody was doing all of that, you know, that running around being charmed by somebody who was already in some like some long-term commitment. Somebody allowed themselves to be charmed and they moved. Somebody made a move away from the home life. It's like a, still a contract here. Somebody could even be trying to come back and act like they want the relationship. Right. I'm so tired of reading that stuff. The Ten of Wands, yeah, somebody moved away. This has been karmic, or it's karmic now. You know, it's it's a heavy burden to carry. It's unhealthy for someone. And it's the karma that somebody chose with the ten of with the two of wands. It goes to the ten of wands, right? Um Somebody just was careless with somebody, took advantage, um, and they also um, took somebody for granted. It's like an uphill battle, a struggle. Somebody just kind of turned on autopilot in this relationship, not knowing where it was going. They just kept showing up for it. This might have been somebody who's dedicated to the connection, to the relationship, but not really um, getting what they wanted. Like the relationship was, it was kind of stale. It was boring. This is something where somebody is far. So if this is like you were dealing with somebody who you suspected that there was a, a third party or you are the third party, it was because like distance was between like this person either lives far or it's a far drive or it's a flight that you have to take or something like that. Somebody's loyalty in their childhood trauma and things that they hadn't dealt with kept them staying in some type of commitment or relationship or situationship. I don't know. This is beyond this is definitely um like a connection where somebody was like um it was kind of like off and on somebody would visit like i'll come and visit and we'll hang out or whatever and then i'm leaving and you know i'll be back this is interesting Ooh, or if somebody had like a third party that would come in town, visit, they hook up, and then they would leave. Because we got like travel. Yeah. Someone's traveling for work, and they hook up with somebody. But they already got somebody. Oh. You are good enough, Aquarius. That's you know, full moon in Virgo. You could be dealing with a Virgo. So this is going to be about... Um, Of course, understanding your worth is about structure and it's also about um, diligence 
and letting something go. And, you know, because Virgo is like mutable and disseminating energy. So it's kind of like falling apart. You don't have to be committed to, could be dealing with a Virgo too. You got Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. You don't have to be committed to staying with somebody just because, you know. Maybe because they have money or what am I getting from this? Or somebody staying with you because you have money? Some of you were just really committed to this person. You wanted to take them off the struggle bus or I don't know. They they found a way in you to get off of that struggle bus. Um this person made you feel like you weren't good enough because they always had something going on behind your back. I don't know if you were holding on to the words, the words of their actions. This person was lying. So Virgo in its low vibration is a liar, um, manipulative, petty, um, not good with money, um, messy, uh, Maybe even downright, like, um, nasty. Um, uh, jealous also. So, I don't know. You know, just know that you are good enough. Oh, that wanted to flip out. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. You might have done something around the new moon. Um, luck is on your side. So, Sagittarius talks about travel. Maybe you are traveling. We had a lot of travel cards. Sagittarius is about exploring and travel, um, adventure, um, hitting your target, your mark here, the archer. Um, again, more disseminating energy, mutably. So something is mutating. Again, I don't know if I've mentioned here, like some of you, like you, you transmute it or you will transmute the energy of being in some toxic, low vibrational relationship. You take all that negativity and turn it into something positive. Let's see what is going on for the Aquarius. What do we have? Um, don't let pride get in your way. Full moon and Leo. So full moon and Leo uh, bulging or something, you know, coming out. Um, don't be afraid to ask for help is what. I'm getting from this uh, Aquarius, Full Moon and Leo. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid of making friends or putting yourself out there. Um, let your pride subside in something that you're doing. Yeah, because a Full Moon and Aries, and we've got a Full Moon and Aries coming up. It's going to be like a big climactic um maybe ending or a new beginning because Aries is cardinal energy so it's about the initiation the start of maybe in spring something will start for you something really big it's gonna be a big climax of what you do around this full moon coming up in Aries I believe um it's going to put you in the spotlight or give you some type of spotlight and your luck shifts because you are good enough. Okay. You might need to pick up a book and learn is what I'm hearing. Okay. Um, let's just close out with these. Let's see what's happening for the Aquarius. What's happening for Aquarius. So somebody is a prostitute or they were dealing with a prostitute or someone was treating someone like a transaction like you know we're friends with benefits with it being a pink card like it's a transaction i do this for you or we hang out or we go get dinner or i don't know you know and then you give me so somebody was treating somebody like a prostitute or somebody was dealing with a prostitute or someone was acting like a pro i don't know um we did have it where it's like third party situation. Like, let's see. 
um, secret plans to propose marriage. Okay. Um, luck is on your side. You know, maybe that's what's happening. I don't, maybe. Okay. Um, we do have the main man and the main female showing up with the courtship and the lovers. But we got some secret. Maybe it's hard work keeping the secret from you in the um, near future. Wow. With the distant horizon, someone will propose something to you. That's what one of my Aquarius <laughs> is. I'm hoping it's for all. Um, let's see. So maybe somebody is trying to, you know, um, come up with a way of how to come back to you and propose something to you. Whether it be marriage or let's go steady. Um, maybe they see you as like a super independent lady. And that that's why somebody wanted to, you know, be a part of your life or use you or be a part of what you were doing. Or you're trying to become a girl boss or super independent lady. Yeah. Um, so we talked about this, like some relationship was off and on. Like you got to just make up, break up. It was just toxic. Okay. Um Let's see what else. All right. Jealous friends. You got jealous friend or friends here. Um, there could be like a friend of me. Uh, yeah. With the whoa. Yeah. Within your within your community. With the thief. So they're like jealous of you. They're keeping it to themselves. They're jealous of you. They're within your so your community is people who you choose. You know your community is a choice is a gang of people you have chosen to have in your life. So within your community, you might have some jealous friend or jealous friends. Let's see what's going on. In love with my friend. Oh my gosh. So some of you are in love with a friends with benefits type of situation. Maybe it didn't start like that. It was just hooking up and then now somebody's in love. It could be you, Aquarius. Um, maybe you fell in love or someone fell in love with you. Ooh, this came out black witch bad. So somebody's doing something, you know, curse is wicked. We talked about a curse being broken. This is also like somebody trying to keep you in the chain, you know. I don't know if we talked about that. This was like another reading. Oh, yeah. Well. Let's clarify that. Let's see. What is this black witch? Wicked curses. What is this? Can we clarify um, the black witch here? The knight of wands. So there could have been somebody here. Um, I'm getting like, uh, okay, that's what, oh, wow. Someone you didn't see or you don't see within your community. It, we have the Knight of Wands in the other deck too. Could be Sagittarius, like doing something behind the scenes. Trying to keep you down or keep you away from maybe finding your person. Or being with your person this is somebody who was taking quick fast action this could even be somebody who sent you a charmer somebody to charm you disarm you get you off course somebody that didn't like you or didn't want you to awaken one more card for black witch hmm so whomever this relationship didn't work out with they were sent by somebody else or something else. Let's see. Wow. The Knight of Swords, the Emperor, and the Empress. This is somebody from your past that you were in a relationship with. This is mother and father to me. So maybe this is somebody who you have a baby with or you were married to at one time. What they were doing real quickly with the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands is being focused on your love life. It may be like doing spells or, you know, curses, 
wicked stuff to keep you from maybe finding the love of your life. And you were just met with like playboys, playgirls, and I don't want type of energy. Because they were jealous of you. So what they did was um, kept you meeting people like this, the toxicity. They know that you're a good catch. Now, the whole curses and the wicked thing, it could just be wordplay. Like they, they, Every time it comes to you, you're the subject, uh, the, the topic. They may just always say, oh, I hope he or she never finds anyone. I hope that, you know, they're always saying negative things. And that could just be, you know, putting that type of vibration out in the universe. This is what they did. And it was somebody that maybe you were married to or in a committed relationship. It's like they don't want you to have anything stable. Keep in mind the knights are not stable energy. They're on conquest. They're conquering. The knights are who the king sends out to do their bidding or their you know, um, war or, um, you know, so these people always are shakers and movers. They're always moving. They're not stable. So maybe this, um, woman or man was like sending you energy where you always be unstable, you know, monetarily, energetically, emotionally in relationships, like sending you unstable type of vibes here. Um, okay. So that's the black witch there. Maybe that's why you were meeting these people who um, also, okay, so they said like some of you have mother or father issues. So you got to go backwards and deal with the mom and pop issue. Maybe your relationship with the mother wasn't best or isn't best um, and, and or with the father. Therefore, you kept getting unstable relationships because... Um, you hadn't dealt with the past here. You might have been under some type of curse. You need to break that curse. Uh, mom and dad could have even, or mom or dad could have even wished that you don't find anybody stable or said that you won't ever. But that's almost equivalent to wishing that somebody won't, you know, to say, oh, they won't ever find anybody. So let's, um, we have two cards for Aquarius. Wow, so we got opposed, like complete opposites, white witch, good, bad. So you might have been dealing with somebody that just was the adverse of you. Yeah, and they were closed off to love. So you could have been dealing with somebody who you were, you thought was your partner or your better half, but you know, their heart was closed off to love. So if they can't give love and they're not receiving love, then what are they giving? That's a good question. Um, this can even been the fact that you need, again, you need to do some work with mom and dad. Talk to a therapist. Because we do have the Six of Cups about connecting backwards. Traumatic situations from the past. So, um, so that you can move on and close the door. Because some of you are closed off to love. And then um, this this curse and this negative black dark energy will dissipate and turn into white white light white energy. Okay, so Aquarius, this is what I have for you. Um, I hope that it resonates. If it does, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below and if you're a business-minded individual and you want to get on a discovery call with me go ahead and get um schedule your your complimentary discovery call um by clicking one of the links below and um and if you want to be around like-minded um, business-minded individuals every month then go ahead and join the ktng keep the momentum going a monthly conference call that we host every month and you get practical and spiritual advice as to how to maintain, grow, and um, yeah, maintain, grow, or either start your own business. So be involved in that. 
If you're feeling moved to do so, thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.